I am here with Brian Warwick. I am an assistant professor in the music business and industry program of Northern Vermont University, Linden, and I primarily teach courses in the audio production concentration. Every one of the classes has a redeeming quality to it. You're in digital recording with me right now, and that's for our newer students. And I think the thing that kind of gets me up in the morning for, for that course is that you guys are so new to it. And there's like a lot of like energy and the creativeness that's kind of coming through that class. Every time I walk in there, there's just like, there's always a lot of questions. There's always just like this need for information. So I absolutely love that. Intro to audio engineering, we get to get really deep into our recording studio that's on the Linden campus. That's always really entertaining because we're talking about different microphones, microphone techniques, hybrid mixing, which is a, a multi-track mixing course. That's really where we get to like grind down and like talk about mixing concepts that aren't necessarily going to be on YouTube. And, and, and sometimes we go back and forth and we're like, okay, what is this person talking about mixing? Well, is that appropriate for this situation? It's a really great way to get the students like really, really comfortable in their own skin and open up their ears and start hearing things in a whole new way. Uh, recording and post-production, it's the first time the students are going to be synchronizing audio with video. So that could be used for commercials, movies, films, video games, television streaming. So there's just a whole new set of terminology that they learn, a whole new way of being creative. And then advanced audio is, is the capstone project. And it really is like the culmination of everything a student has learned in the four years of being at Northern Vermont University Linden. They get to do a project that they're passionate about. They get to pursue an artist that they're passionate about and they get to record their music. Or this is an opportunity for the student who might also be an artist to really focus in on their music and create a really professional recording. So yeah, that's 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 a tough question. Each each course just has these really special moments that that I look forward to every every semester. I was a recording engineer in Los Angeles, California. So as soon as I left uh, college myself, I moved out to LA. I spent about 13 years there as a recording engineer or tracking engineer. And basically that meant that I was the person recording the performances of the artist. So I got to actually meet the artist, interact with the artist, interact with the music. Um, it was really an amazing experience. Anytime you make it a recording with talented musicians, it's, a, it's an amazing experience. And I got, to, I got to work with some really, really great people. One of my, my steady clients is a, a, a gentleman named Michael Buble, who's a really talented singer. I also work for Weird Al Yankovic, who likes to make parody tunes and make fun of, you know, make fun of pop tunes, which is, which is always a good time. Um, and still to this day, I've, I've been at Northern Vermont University Linden for quite a while now. And still to this day, I'm actually a mix engineer. My mix studio is in my office. So I mix songs for people. Um, and I also mix score for uh, some television commercials and some, some films. And the, and the best part about it now is since my studio is in my office, I can get my students involved and they actually help me out on some of these projects. The growth in those four years is absolutely immense. And one of the most difficult things about our program is that our students actually get really talented in those, in those four years many times throughout my, my, my tenure here at the college, where about senior year, an opportunity opens up and we have to let that student take that opportunity and try to work with them so they can still finish their degree. It's a little bit traumatizing for me because 
I'm not ready to let them go yet. And yet I have to be like, oh no, oh, okay. You're not gonna be around for the last semester where I thought I was gonna see you every day and we were gonna work together. And like, I guess I get a little empty nest, uh, you know, because we, we do, we get, we get these great students who get these great opportunities. And then all of a sudden they, they, they kind of get taken from us a little, a little quicker than I want to. Our students just end up with great opportunities. They're really creative. Um, we have students working on tour with ACTS. We have students doing live sound support. We have students working at recording studios. Um, we have students doing uh, massive audio visual installations. I mean, it really runs the gamut when you talk about like the students post-graduation and, and what they're going to do. And I think the, the most important thing for me is just trying to make sure that they're going into a field where they will thrive. And that's, and that's, that's, that's kind of my goal is to kind of talk them through it and be like, okay, where can you thrive? Where can you be comfortable? Where can you be successful? So when I finished college, I got a, I got a phone call from a friend and they had a room in an apartment that was available in Hollywood, California, and they needed a roommate. You could call that an opportunity, just having a little bit of a, a, a soft landing out there. I had to hustle for my, for my jobs in that city. It was, it was tough. I mean, as soon as my car got there, I had this really dodgy car that I, that I, that I shipped out. As soon as I got, I got that car, I started driving around to all the recording studios, giving my resume. And I mean, you know, there were people who took my resume and basically, you know, threw it in the trash. Um, but I, I was really fortunate that I got hired at record plant recording studios. Um, but again, it was that hustle and creating a good resume, good cover letter to, to, to try to get hired. My friend, uh, who I, I shared an apartment with for a little while, um, one day he called me up and, and he mentioned that there was a job opening at his recording studio and they didn't know who was going to fill it. And then all of a sudden I was like, Hey, I will. When it comes to the entertainment industry, I think there's a lot of pressure put on like the big break like that you're going to be like walking down the street and then all of a sudden you're going to get discovered and as an audio engineer that, that just doesn't really happen going to a program like the music business industry program what it's doing is it's setting you up for these small opportunities that are slowly going to work up to that big opportunity so like you know getting an apartment getting getting you know a first gig at a studio getting another gig at another studio notice none of those involved like famous people right but it put me in the situation to start working with some seriously talented individuals there's a baseline of knowledge about the entertainment industry that is expected of you in your first entry level job leaving college. So it's no longer a business where you can just kind of go in and, and learn it on your own. I'm sure there are people who still do that, but it's just a really difficult road. And a lot of opportunities might pass that person by because they don't have that experience. So it is really important that a student has a solid baseline of information when it comes to business, right? And, the, and the, the second word in music business and industry, our program is business, right? You need to have a strong acumen to business, but you also need to have that music background. You need to know a little bit about music theory. You need to know about how instruments are played, right? Because that is the thing that we're trying to market. That's what the business is trying to market is that music. So having that strong baseline, I think is the most important thing. Also, when you get a degree from a place like Northern Vermont University, what ends up happening is that employer, when you graduate, that employer sees that music business and industry, understands you have that baseline, but also understands that you are an individual that can be trained, that can learn. 
because that's going to be the most important thing. When you walk out of school, you want to be able to walk out and learn more. There's no more homework anymore. There's no more reading that you are assigned, right? You have to go out there and you have to learn this business. That's going to be your, the rest of your life. You're going to continue to learn and master your craft and, and, and have a successful career. I don't think there's been a single project that I've worked on where it's just one person that's responsible for everything. It's always a group of people that are trying to get together to create the best recording that they possibly can. The more hands you have working on something means there's more people that care about that product. There's more people that are invested in that product succeeding. So it's amazing to me, like as, as you work on a, on a large scale recording or something like that, there may be multiple recording engineers, multiple producers, multiple artists, multiple musicians. And all of a sudden there might be a hundred people working on that project, all looking for it to succeed. So I think it's really great that music business industry does collaborative projects. And they can be tough. They can be really difficult, right? Because this is the first time the students might be really collaborating with a large group of people. The teamwork skills, the organizational skills that come from that are going to be something that the student can take with them forever. So the, the, the recording studio that we have on campus, yes, it can be operated by one person, but it'll take a long time to set up all the equipment, break it all down, record everything. It's designed for students to work together to create projects. We have the DA Lab, the Digital Audio Workstation Lab. That lab has 17 stations in it that all have Pro Tools, Logic, it has speakers in it, it has a recording console in it. It's designed for larger groups of students to be able to get in there, listen to music and work together. We also have the Ensemble Room, which is a large music rehearsal space that we have on campus. And then we have a simple demo room, which has, you know, drums, uh, bass amps, guitar amps, even a computer. So a small band can get in there and they can create their own music and make a simple recording of it. All the music business and industry facilities are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Yes. Yes, I have on several instances, I have walked into the, our recording studio and there'll be a student who had been working all night and they'll be taking a nap in the corner and I'll walk in and I'll, I'll startle them and they'll be like, oh no, I'm just, I'm just finishing something up. I was just shutting my eyes for a second. Um, but yeah, there's been several instances and I think it's really good too. Uh, musicians aren't nine to five people. You know, maybe a, a, a student can't sleep or just got that creative bug, you know, really late at night and that they can just go get the key to the digital audio workstation lab and, and, and go be creative. That's okay, we support that. The thing to keep in mind is that we look for passionate, creative people. And I wanna take some of the pressure off the students looking into studying music. One way we do that is that there's no audition to come to Northern Vermont University Linden and be in our music business and industry program. We are looking for passionate individuals, individuals that, you know, uh, sing themselves to sleep at night or singing in the shower. Music is, is a part of their life. That's what we're looking for. And we really do. We, we have a wide range of musical talent that's on campus. But I, I think if music is a part of them, if that got taken away, if a, if a student feels like they would be missing something in their life without music, then studying music business and industry at Northern Vermont University Linden is probably a pretty good way to go.